Okay, so I got a really good question um, about a question in the assignment um, related to orthogonal projections um, and null spaces. Um, and it's a really nice little piece of linear algebra to explain. Um, so I thought I'd um, explain it in a video. Um, so the question is essentially this, you know, the assignment question says you're given some matrix M uh, and you're told that it has some null space S. Um, and then the question asserts that the matrix for the orthogonal projection uh, for a vector onto that null space S is this expression uh, here, this P equals uh, I take away this you know, combination of, um, of matrices, including the matrix M here. And so the question is, why is that so? Where does that formula come from? Um, so what we know about orthogonal projections is this little picture uh, that we've got here that, you know, essentially the idea of uh, orthogonal uh, projections is that you're trying to look for uh, some projection matrix that uh, decomposes X uh, into a set of orthogonal vectors, uh, U and V, uh, where those two are orthogonal to each other. So, um, so this is the picture that we know that U plus V equals uh, X and U and V are orthogonal. Um, and U lies in some, uh, is U lies in some subspace here. So to get the particular variant for this, um, uh, for this problem, let me do something to this. Instead of calling that vector U, um, instead of just calling it U, let me rename it Y uh, and let me consider, you know, let me just do some transformation. Let me think about the vectors that are, um, uh, the vectors that are, are multiples of this uh, matrix M, this matrix M transpose. So really we're looking to decompose X into a set of orthogonal vectors, Y and V now, uh, where, uh, uh, where Y and, and V are orthogonal to each other. So that's just a cosmetic change to um, how we've been talking about orthogonal projections up to now. Uh, now the point of doing that little transformation is that um, I've linked it to this matrix M, right? Um, and so all the vectors Y, so M transpose times all these vectors, um, times vectors U, and time ve these vectors U, all those vectors Y lie in the column space uh, of M, right? So the column, um, this set in which all these vectors Y lie in that plane there uh, is the column space of M transpose. So, you know, we're, we're looking at all of the, um, uh, the vectors that are all the linear combinations now uh, of the columns uh, of M. That's what it means um, to be, a, um, that's what it means to be a vector in the column space of M transpose. Um, and so now once you have that, um, well, what's this vector V? Well, the vector V, because um, uh, Y and V add up to give X, uh, V must be uh, the vector X take away M transpose of U times U. Right, so that's just because uh, y plus v equals x. Um, and now the point of that, the point of doing this construction, and this is a piece of linear algebra that um, uh, maybe not everybody knows, is that that vector v lies in the null space um, of m. That's what it means um, to be in the null space uh, of, um, uh, of m. You know, the reason for that uh, is that, um, uh, uh, well, y and v are orthogonal here, essentially. Um, you know, so they have to uh, multiply to give um, uh, multiply to give zero. So okay, so once we have that, um, once we know that um, this vector v is in the null space uh, of S, what does it mean? Let's just write down the definition of what it means to be in the null space of S. You know, the it, uh, the null space of S means that m times v is equal to zero. Right, that's the definition of the null space. So V is X take away M transpose U's. So this means that uh, uh, M outside of X take away M transpose U is equal to zero. And I can expand that out. Right, that's equal to zero. Uh, and I can rearrange that. Uh, and that's going to give me that um, M M transpose U is equal to M times X, okay? Uh, so that's just doing algebra. And now, so long as that uh, matrix MM transpose uh, is invertible, right? So as long as I can, uh, I can take the inverse of that matrix there, well, I can write U as uh, just MM transpose inverse of that uh, times M times X, cool. 
Okay, so that's just doing uh, linear algebra. Uh, we can do one more step here. Uh, let's pre-multiply everything uh, by M transpose. We get that. And now what have I got here? Well, what's M transpose times U? What have I constructed on the left-hand side of that equal sign? I've constructed those vectors Y. Um, so I've got, um, uh, I've constructed those vectors Y. So I can, I now know that Y uh, is equal to this, um, this big object on the right-hand side. Cool. So that's actually a way of projecting um, uh, any vector X uh, down into the column space of M transpose to get a, um, a matrix Y. Uh, now, what else do I know about Y? Well, I know that Y plus V is equal to X by my little uh, triangle up there. So I could write uh, Y as, um, uh, as X take away, uh, as X take away V. So uh, this here is X take away V. Right, and so now um, taking, uh, uh, rearranging this, so I'm putting the, uh, the X's over onto the other side, I can write that V is going to be equal to uh, X take away M transpose, you know, blah, 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 all that uh, junk there. So if I take a common factor of X out, I can write this as I take away M transpose, M, M transpose, inverse M, all multiplied by X. Uh, and so that uh, is the, um, you know, what I've constructed there is I've constructed uh, that V is equal to P times X. So what does that, what does this expression mean? You know, that's the whole, we're done at that point. That's the whole story. Um, so that matrix P is a matrix which projects any vector X, right, uh, into uh, the vector V. So it projects from X uh, into V. So it's projecting any arbitrary vector here um, into the null space of S, uh, the, the null space of M, the null space S. So it is exactly uh, this projection matrix um, here. So that's where that formula comes from. Um, the key piece of information that makes all of this work um, is the fact that um, uh, uh, the column space of M transpose is equal to the null space um, of M. Uh, that's the big theorem uh, that makes all of this work. Um, but from there, it's just a bunch of uh, just a bunch of linear algebra and a bunch of orthogonal projections. So that's where the formula comes from. Nice little piece of uh, linear algebra, I think. So have fun.